Hello, this is Professor Sampson, and this video is going to show you how to factor a trinomial when a is not equal to 1 using the AC method. Now, if you looked at the other video, you saw a method called bottoms up. This is just another method to factor a trinomial when a is not equal to 1. Either method will, will work, so I will use the same three problems that I use on the bottoms up method on the other video. All right. So we're going to factor this trinomial using the AC method. So on the last video I used 7x squared. My example was 7x squared minus 20x minus 3. The AC method starts off similar to the bottoms up method. You still have to do A times C. So you still have to multiply these and list the factors. So our factors was 1 and 21 and 3 and 7. In the AC method, after you find your two numbers, in this case, our two numbers that will give us the middle term is going to be these two. And remember from the last video, if this is a minus, that means they're going to be opposite signs. And this sign tells us the sign of the higher number. So we have negative 21 and positive 1. In the AC method, you use these two to rewrite the middle term so that you can factor by grouping. So you have 7x squared. We're going to have minus 21x plus 1x minus 3. What does that do? Look, this negative 21 and that positive, positive 1x gives you that negative 20. Then we're going to, since we have four terms, we're going to factor by grouping, which is what you learned first, how to factor by grouping. So in factoring by grouping, we group the first two terms together, right? And then we group the last two terms. So in that case, we're going to pull out what's in common, a GCF, which is 7x, leaving us with x minus 3 plus we always have to pull out something even if it's just a 1. So we're going to pull out a 1 and that's going to leave us with x minus 3. Our final step is to write down our final answer. These two x minus 3's we're going to write as 1 so x minus 3 and the stuff that we would have left over which is going to be this 7x plus 1. All right. So we're going to write that in a parenthesis, 7x plus 1. And that is going to be the answer using the AC method. Okay. Let's do another example using the AC method. The same problems that I use using the bottoms up method. We're going to have 4b squared minus 15b plus 9. Again, 9 times 4 is 36. I'm going to list the factors of 36 as 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, and 6 and 6. I'm going to look for the 2 that's going to give me 15. 1 and 36 won't. 2 and 18 definitely won't. Hey, 12 and 3 can give me 15, but let me double check. Since this is a positive, that means they're either going to be both negative are both positive. This tells us they're both going to be negative. So if this was negative and this was negative, negative 3 and a negative 12 gives us a negative 15. So that checks out. So now we're going to rewrite this. So we rewrite that using the middle term because remember this middle term is really a replacement for that. Then we're going to group them together to factor by grouping here and here, here and here. We're going to factor out the greatest common factor in these two, which is just b. b. That leaves us with 4b minus 3. Bring down our minus. And then we're going to factor out here a 3. All right. Now, when you have a minus in the middle, you're going to have to remember that that changes the sign of everything. So that's going to be 4b 
minus 3. Alright, since we have both our 4b minus 3, I'm going to write that down and then our left over is b minus 3. Okay, one more. This last problem that we had was 2x squared. two x squared minus three x minus twenty. Again, we're going to multiply a times c and we're going to get ourselves forty. Forty breaks down into one times forty, two times twenty, four times ten, and five times eight. Right? So we're looking for the ones that will add up to forty, but we'll multiply out we'll multiply out the forty and add up to our middle term of negative three. So it won't be 1 and 40, it won't be 2 and 20. 10 and 4 is only going to give us either 6 if we subtract them or 14 if we add them. So we have 5 and 8. This sign, since it's negative, tells us that the signs are going to be opposite. So we need a positive and a negative. And this one tells us that the higher one is going to be this sign. So we have a negative 8 and a positive 5. Again, we have 2x squared. Now if I have a minus, I like to write my minus first, minus 8x, it doesn't matter, plus 5x, minus 20, then you're going to get your grouping together, group these and group those. So now we're going to factor out, we're going to factor out a 2x leaving us with x minus 4, plus here we're going to factor out what's in common which is a 5 leaving us again with x minus 4. Our final answer will be the stuff that we have together, x minus 4, and then the stuff that's left on the outside, which is 2x plus 5. Alright, and that is how you factor using the AC method.